Hey guys, I've got a little thing to show you today. This is a little LED matrix. It's got its own 80 mega 328 on there. It's uh, the P-AU one. So it's, uh, it's a sort of all-in-one solution. I'd kind of had my fill of playing with these little things. These ones with it, they've got the Max 2 uh, 7219 chip on here. I found them a pain to deal with. The ones I got from AliExpress recently were a completely different configuration than the ones that I had before. So the code that I'd used before didn't work. So I wanted to create my own. Uh, and so that's what this is. So you'll see on the back here, we've got a couple of 74HC595 uh, shift registers. And we've also got the 80 mega chip. There's a little bodge wire there. I'll explain what that is in a minute. We've got a couple of buttons. We've got a crystal um, and we've got some broken out pins. Now the broken out pins are for the shift registers, so they can be controlled separately from the onboard processor. So you don't have to have it as a standalone unit, you can just add those on. Also, I couldn't route those wires around the board because it was getting pretty full. The two buttons, one is reset, one is an, a button to change the mode of the display. So it's got several different modes, several different animations, that kind of thing. And the bodge wire is from that pin to an interrupt pin. I'd had it going just into a standard pin, but I realized with the animations uh, going through like a big for loop, I needed it to uh, have an interrupt to change the mode because otherwise it's gonna, you have to be really exact with your timing, that kind of thing. Uh, so it was a real pain to route this board. You'll see on the front, we've got 64 LEDs, blue LEDs, and they took a while to, to solder as well as to root. So I'll show you what it looks like in Eagle. Uh, and it's a bit of a complex board really, but it's ended up being quite small. I'm really, really happy with it. And it's got a few different animations we can show you as well. So this is our Eagle schematic. And um, you can see that there's all our LEDs. It's an eight by eight matrix. It wasn't the easiest to rig up here, but we've got our 274HC595. So now you have to, um, invoke some pins on here in order to use them properly. These are just some uh, 74HC595s from the library, I think. I don't think I created my own part for this. So you have to invoke those and pull out the pins so that you can get power and ground. You will need something like um, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor on there or 100 um, nanofarad as I've put there. Uh, and then we've got our 80 mega 328. And we've just got a, a button here going to analog zero, which was actually meant to be the uh, digital pin two, which is one of the interrupts. That's the interrupt zero, uh, but I did it wrong. Uh, so that's why you had that jumper wire there. And then over here, we've got our routed board. Now this took a very, very long time to do. Um, hours, hours and hours, probably about three or four hours to route this. And that's because on, it's a dual sided board and on the bottom side, we've got the LEDs. And on the top side, we have our uh, processor and related items, so the crystal and such. Um, so if I just click on the rat's nest tool, you'll be able to see it with everything there. Now on various parts of this, you had to remove a lot of this, um, this ground plane there because some of these wires are just too close together, some of the traces. Uh, and that's why I had to have these as pins so that I could bring them out straight from the shift registers. And then I have to channel them down to the bottom here uh, with external wires. Because I just couldn't find a way of, of bringing them around to the processor because everything was just so close together. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, it's sort of a single, single use kind of board really. I mean, it still does have that 80 mega 328 on the back. It doesn't even need to be that kind of chip. It could be a lot smaller chip really because I'm not using all of the pins. We've broken out an analog pin here as well, um, just in case you wanted to use it for, as a, a VU meter or uh, like a equalizer or something so you can feed an analog signal in. But it's pretty just a one use, like fancy animations thing really. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you guys would like to make one of these, I'll put the Eagle stuff and also my code uh, in the description. And if you've got any questions, any improvements or anything, in fact, please let me know.